Hi, I hope you guys are there. Let me check if we're live. On a Saturday midnight. Kamusta naman ang mga kaibigan natin dyan online? Let me check, let me check if we're live. How's everyone going? Are we live? Um, super kalat at super dumi because we are packing for um, a travel. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm waiting for a few of our friends who are online. Sana may mga online tayo mga friends ngayon. Uh, tayo po ay magpapak, flying somewhere. I'm going on a vacation for almost five days. I'll be gone for almost five five days, I guess. Ayan. So, can you guys hear me loud and clear? Magandang madaling araw sa ating mga kaibigan. Alam ko na this is a very random live. But while I'm packing, eh mag-uusap tayo. Pag-uusapan po natin ngayong gabi ang Avon Ads at ang nalalapet na runway show ng Aqua Boracay. Ayan, we have a friends already for online. Hi, Sammy says loud and clear doc Z. Jam says clear doc. Saan po kayo nag-vacation? Fresh na fresh niyo po. I just came from... Uh, dinner, and then nag-shoot kami um, ng interview again tonight. Um, hi, Doc. Pa shout out po from Toronto. Hi, Vanessa Ang. Thank you for watching. Levi Valmora says, Hi, Doc Z. Am I on time? Yes po, you guys are on time. We just started two minutes ago. This is a random um, live because I am going on a vacation and I'll be gone for five days. Wala muna tayong kahit anong live, but we might be uploading the video of Miss Mandawe very, very soon on Peps TV at of course dito sa ating YouTube channel. Guys, allow me to pack my things habang nag-uusap tayo. Ako po ay magpapack. I'm going on a vacation trip. At hindi pa ako nagpapack at aalas ako mamayang... Um, 7 in the morning and I need to um, leave my condo by uh, 4.30 or yeah, at least 4.30 siguro para hindi ako mas stress sa airport. Always stressful sa airport kasi. Thank you, thank you so much. I've been working so hard and I had my last day of residency kanina. Officially, I had graduation last March 19 pero yung last day ng aking... Um, Residency was um, today. Yan. Natapos na natin yan. So, bakasyon muna tayo for a while. Maraming salamat, Vanessa Ang at Semi. Hindi ko pa na-open ang aking aircon. Pero magpapack na ako. I'll be getting my luggage. Pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabi, guys, ang Avon Ads at ang nalalapit na Aqua Boracay. Kung mapapansin niyo ang thumbnail. If you guys wanna check out the thumbnail, Nagpakita po tayo dyan ng konting skin. <laughs> that shot was taken in Boracay also last Holy Week. Tignan nyo yan. Um, Holy Week last year yan. Oo, last year. But not this year. Ayan. So, allow me to pack in front of you. Makikita nyo kung paano ako mag-pack. Pasensya na po kayo. At magpa-pack po tayo ngayon. Laki ng luggage ko, no? Akala mo, magbabalik bayan tayo. Mas... I'm afraid kasi na ma mabitin sa maleta eh. So, gusto ko na lang malaki yung luggage ko. So, habang nag-uusap-usap po tayo ngayon, eh, nagpapack po ako. Michael Florendo is asking, naka-white swimsuit, MUPH girls, ako, Boracay, sana sa finals. Yung swimsuit, yung katulad sa prelim ng Miss Universe Thai, yung suit nila na lava gown, pero violet blue. Lagi kasi... Plain swimsuit ng MUPH. I have no idea really on the swimsuit designs of the girls. All I can tell you is that they're not using a sarong this time. Yun lang ang masasabi ko sa inyo. Hindi sarong ang gagamitin nila this year. 
Ayan, ako po ay nagpapak habang kausap kayo because mamimiss ko kayo ng limang araw at hindi tayo mag-uusap-usap, hindi muna tayo magla-live at tayo ay magpapahinga muna ng very slight. Hindi ko alam kung makikita ko si Shanice Palacios um, sa Thailand, if she's still there. But if we have, um, if we get invites there, why not? And I just heard that, um, uh, ano ba to? I just heard that um, yung pageant media friends natin, si Sir Pao, si Sir Sherwin, uh, ah, Sherman, sorry, Sherman, are leaving tomorrow from Thailand. So they were invited by Josh Yugen for the um, interview, the press conference of Shaney's. So si Shaney's, she came from um, Nicaragua. Uh, she, she, she came from, uh, I think, nag Cambodia ba si Shaney's? Tapos nag siya. And the, so nag-Thailand, nag-Lao. Hindi ako sure kung nag-Cambodia siya. Then she went back to Thailand. So ganun ang naging kanyang ano um sistema. So nakakatuwa that she went back there at this time nagkita sila ni ano ni Pawi, 'di ba? Ni Fasai. Nakita sila doon doon sa nangyaring press conference na 'yan. Syempre outfit galore pa rin tayo kahit tayo ay nasa um napakainit sa Thailand ngayon. That's what I heard. So we're bringing light pastel colors. Um, Siyempre, meron tayong pa all-white outfit din. Ayan. So paghahandaan natin ang ating outfit. Hindi tayo papakabog sa mga ibang lahi doon. Michael Florendo is saying, I mean, Doc said sana yung swimsuit ng girls, yung lava gown with gems, pero hindi color red. Okay. Um, I don't know kung sino designer ngayon. Pero alam mo, Michael, yung... Swimsuit nung Aqua Boracay, I like it kasi para siyang sports bra na parang pang sports yung underwear na ginamit. I like it somehow, yung ginamit sa Aqua Boracay. For me, yung ginamit sa Thailand, medyo a little too much. Parang masyadong expose yung mga, yung mga puwet ng mga girls. Ako lang ah, kasi medyo may pagka-conservative side pa rin naman ako for the girls. So, I think it's a, it's a bit too much. For the girls, for me. Parang medyo sobra ng konte para sa akin yung mga nakita ko dun sa pinakita sa Miss Universe Thailand. Ako lang ha, it's just my my opinion. Pero let's see, maganda yung sa Thailand though. But for me, as Filipino, parang feeling ko medyo sobra ng konte. Pasensya na kayo sa aking awkward position right now. Ako po ay nag-aayos because I am flying. Um sa ibang bansa at magbabakasyon ng very, very slight at hindi muna tayo makikita ng five days. That's why I decided to go on live. Sabi ko magla-live ako tonight because hindi ko kayo makakausap ng ilang araw at tayo po ay uh, magbabakasyon muna. We've been working so hard. I just came from an interview. I just came from an interview with Lord Ramos, uh, Mr. Gay World Philippines, Makati City. Alam ko, you guys are uh, familiar with um, Lord Ramos. Ayan. Um, hi, my Chinita. Magandang morning sa'yo. Uh, Michael Florendo, na-watch mo ba prelims ng MUT? Revealing yung final swimsuit nila yung revealing. Yeah, yung final yung swimsuit na revealing. I did, I did watch. Yeah, yung ganda nung prelims nila, yung parang may mga strap dito sa mga chan. para may mga chains. I did watch that, Michael Florendo. I like it too. I like it too. Semi says, makakatulog ka pa ba niyan? Yes. After this, after this live at habang nagpapak tayo, matutulog ako afterwards. Um, ng very, very slight. Sa plane na tayo matutulog after niyan. At tayo ay lilipad. Of course, meron tayong, hindi pwedeng wala tayong shades doon. And I'm still trying to check everything that I needed. So, ito na yung meron ako. I brought sandals with me. So, mostly parang sandal lang naman ang kailangan ko doon. At napakainit daw ngayon doon. Ayan. Ayan. So, have you guys seen the Avon? Ooh, have you guys seen the Avon um, collection already? Of the, ano? The Avon ad collection of the girls? 
Sir Tony Lemon, OMG Top 3 ang live. Mama Bex and Gazel Doc said, sino pa ang magla-live? Uy, talaga ba? Sabay-sabay ba kami ngayon? I didn't know that. I just um, got in, Sir Tony, because I'm going on a vacation trip. And I wanted to... Um, I wanted to say muna that I'll be on a vacation for a while. Kaya hindi ko sila makikita... Dapat may dala kong Zonrox. Oh my gosh. Zonrox for the win. Gaganda ng mga girls doon. Grabe. Oo, grabe. Hello? Hello? Is this okay na? Is this okay? Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear na ba? Okay na daw. Sorry na low bat yung isa nating ano, microphone. I'm so sorry about that. So, um, ayan. So, I've been saying that um, please do like the Peps TV on YouTube channel, um, I am the newest correspondent of Peps TV. That's what I've been mentioning to everyone. Peps TV has been known for producing BL series. Ang mga kilala po dyan ay si TJ Marquez at si Aki Torres. Ayan, yun po yung kanilang um, nire-release ang Peps TV sa YouTube. Ngayon po, uh, ako po ang newest inside correspondent nila and we have a segment there that is um, a pageant guru. So we are um, interviewing people on pageant world. Um, isa po dyan ay um, mga in-interview natin mga girls sa Miss Universe Philippines. Yesterday I started interviewing um, people from Mr. Gay World. I've interviewed Bench Ortiz. He was a former Mr. Gay World first runner-up. And... Siya ang first runner-up ni um, Mr. Espardo, si Baguio City dati in 2016. And then, kanina lang si Lord Ramos, if you know him from Century Tuna Buds, yung nanalong runner-up na from the color colorful side of the community, itong si Sir Lord Ramos. So he's also joining for the third time ng Mr. Gay World Philippines. And then yesterday, I also interviewed Mandawa City. So I'm promoting... Peps TV, um, they will be uploading first yung ating mga interviews and then i-upload din yan dito sa aking YouTube channel. And of course, I have already my Facebook page and Instagram page. Nakalink po yan dito sa live natin ngayon. You can find me Dr. Z on Facebook. That's my fan page. And here on Instagram, Dr. Z, that's my personal account. And Dr. Z underscore pageant guru. Yun ang aking bagong mga... Um, social media, fan page, and accounts. Maraming salamat sa aking um, social media handler na si Sir J.R. Orsolino. Papal- damihin at papalaguin pa po natin yan. So sabi nila, lilipat naman sila dito after kay Gaysel. Good evening, Doc Z. pag po ako. Birthday ko ngayon. Happy birthday, Mars Ramoso! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Ayan, happy birthday. Today is April, tama ba? April 13. Ayan, happy, happy birthday, Mars. I have, I hope you have a great day today. And then, um, si uh, Pageant Foodie, kakatapos ko lang manood kay Gaysa. Grabe, walang pahinga ang mga vloggers. Live din si Bex. Ayan, syempre, I decided to go live right now. Kahit po ako ay nagpapack, I'm packing for my vacation, I went on live to all of you because I wanted to say na 
magpapahinga muna ako ng limang araw dahil sunod-sunod ang ating mga ganap sa life. And that's the reason why medyo ano tayo, unprepared ng very, very light for for today's ano um, vlog natin. Ayan. Hello, Doc Z, your silent viewer here, but not anymore. Hi, Ma'am, sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat for tuning in, Miss Sweet Caroline. Doc Z, I sent you a PM sa Instagram about recently France legalized abortion. Actually, alam mo, nabasa ko na din yan. Um, that was early March already about the legalizing in abortion. Napag-aralan ko na po yan as a common, um, communication skills trainer. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, I read the article already. That was released mga March. Na-legalize na yan sa France ngayon. So, mainit na init na topic yan. Hi there. Hi, Doc Super Sipag mo mag-live. I love it. Fellow Thamashan here. Go a step. Go, uste. Go, uste. Go, 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 uste. Ayan. Um, of course, gusto kong batiin ang aking minamahal na nag-aalaga sa Skin MDC, si Miss Mary Chris Paras Barbaza. Um, wait, sasabihin ko, uh, binabati ko siya ngayon. Binabati kita now. Face, ayan. Okay, super sipag. Hi, Doc. Isang style ng swimmer lang ba? Susutin nila or marami sa ng options? Ang masasabi ko lang sa'yo, Gio de, de las Alas, um, the girls will not be wearing sarong this time. They're wearing something else na kayo ay magiging excited about that. Oo, exciting yan talaga. At kanina, meron sila naging shoot pero hindi pa pwedeng i-announce. But the girls went south. They went south. Um, two batches yan. So may mga girls kanina and then may mga girls mamaya na aalis. Ang aga-aga nilang umalis kanina. Um, ng call time nila. So, batch 2 na mamaya, going south yan. Pero, it's a sponsored shoot, but I am not allowed to say what it is about kasi mukhang hindi allowed ang mga girls to talk about it as well. Pageant foodie, enjoy your travel. Are you going to Bangkok? Enjoy Thai food. I love beef, cream, curry. Yes, I'm going to the land of Sawarika. Ayan, pupunta po tayo mamaya dyan. At makikipagkulitan lang ng ilang araw. I'm, I want to go to Chiang Mai. Mamaya ko palang aaralin. I have one more day to prepare for that. I'm gonna look for it sa Kluk kung may available pa. Kasi sobrang, sobrang busy ng city ngayon because of the Songkran Festival. Um, I'm quite excited. It's not my first time in... Audio is cutting in and out. Hello? Okay lang ba yung audio natin? Is it okay now? I'm waiting for people to reply if the audio is okay. Nawawala daw ang audio ko. Hello, hello. But kaya nawawala. Hello. Ayan. So, um, as I've been mentioning, um, it's my. It's not my first time going to Thailand, but um, I am. I went there last 2018 during Katrina's time. Nanood po ako niyan. At uh, super happy ako when I went to to Thailand. Talaga, talagang. I told myself as a pageant fan, I cannot miss that moment that a Filipina will win on stage. So I had to watch it live. So when I learned that the pageant is happening in Thailand, talagang go. Mega book talaga ako to Thailand at super happy ako that I was able to witness Catriona win, a Filipino winning. Alam niyo yung pinaka happy doon was when we sang the national anthem, um, yung lupang hinirang sa isang foreign land, nakaka-proud at nakakaiyak talaga ang moment na yun. Super happy and very thankful to um, Catriona for, ano, for for representing the Philippines on the international stage. Ayan. Nag-message ang aking therapist kung ano, um, kung ano daw ang sinabi ko tungkol sa kanya. <laughs> Ayan. Maraming salamat sa pag Ayan. So, yeah, I'm excited to eat a lot of things in Thailand. Kain lang tayo ng kain, pero syempre ang figure natin, baka masira. Um, 
Okay na daw ang audio ko. Yung internet ata daw ang problem. I just follow you on Instagram. Thank you, Gio de las, uh, de las Sas. Let's talk there. Instagram ko, dr.z. And of course, um, you can find me on my Facebook fan page. It's Dr. Z as well. Meron din tayong um, pageant Instagram, Dr. Z underscore pageant guru. Ayan. Namiss ko tuloy ang Thailand. Thank you so much, Mars Remoso, sa iyong 25 Saudi um, Rials. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, at happy, happy birthday sa iyo ulit. Have you guys seen the Avon um, video, the ad campaigns? Can you tell me who's your favorite? Sino ang favorite ninyo sa mga nakita ninyong mga ads kanina? I was... Um, I was on my shoot a while ago when the Avon ads came out. At ang uh, daming magagandang girls. Sa Avon, ang for now, ang nagandahan ako ay kay Hawaii, Iloino, Pasig, Tagig. Tagig was very, very beautiful. Pasig was also stunning. At Tisa Manalo was so beautiful. Chelsea Manalo was a standout. UK was also beautiful. Southern California, ang ganda-ganda din. Stacy Ma- Stacy Gabriel was super stunning also. Tara Valencia, very beautiful. Um, sino pa ba? Ang daming magaganda kanina. Ang daming mga magaganda. At Isa Manalo, did I mention her? She's so beautiful. Um, Chelsea Manalo was so beautiful. Alexi was also okay. Though I felt like medyo ang ikli ng um, sinabi ni Alexi. Parang konti yung naging airtime tuloy. Um, Pampanga was also a standout. Um, tinatanong ako ni Lara Andres kung ano ang topic. Ang topic po ngayon ay ang nalalapit na Aqua Boracay. Kung anong klaseng mga swimsuit ang ina-expect niyo sa mga girls na susuotin. And of course, ang recently released Avon um, ad campaign ng mga girls. Ayan. Bababa, boom! Si Doc Zed may pa-ab sa thumbnail. More, more. Yes. Para, pumano- para pumanood kayo, may thumbnail tayo dyan na pa-abs. That shot was taken in Boracay last Holy Week po. Kasama ko si RJ noong time na yan. Ang, gani- ang ganda ni Tara sa video niya sa Instagram, parang Latina Universe ang beauty, sabi ni Padgett, um Foodie. Chelsea and Stacy are gorgeous. They are so beautiful in that... um. Avon ads campaign. I'm so torn between Stacy, Chelsea, Tara, Atisa, um, sino pa bang magagaling? Cebu was also stunning. Um, who else? Um, uh, ang daming magaganda kanina dun sa kanilang ano, Avon shoot, no? Ang ganda. And then, the messages that they conveyed, guys, namin nyo naman ang mga messages nila. Anyways, maraming salamat sa ating 100,000 viewers. Sana po ay nagla-like kayo ngayon. Guys, come on. Keep the likes coming. Sige na. Pindutin nyo na yung thumbs up button ngayon na. <laughs> Pakita nyo ang pagmamahal nyo kay Doc Z. I went live despite a very busy schedule. I just went on an interview with Mr. Lord Ramos, Mr. Makati, Gay World Philippines. Ang kanilang coronation night is happening on first week of June after yan ng Miss Universe Philippines. Parang hindi convincing may filter. Nako, wala pong filter yan. Hindi po tayo magla-live ng ganyan. I'm sorry, Chubibo. I'm so sorry. Hindi natin papakita ang abs natin sa YouTube. Ang ganda ni Tara. Ayan. What's the topic? Ayan, no? So, yun. Ang ganda ng ad campaign ng Avon kanina. They were, they were sending a lot of beautiful messages. A lot of inspiring messages. Yung mga sinasabi na lang, um, uh, we are women to empower at saka yung mga let our voices be heard, speak out loud. Yan yung mga sinasabi nilang ano kanina, no? mga words nila at statements nila. Siyempre, ready na po tayo sa ating vacation. Ayan, di ba? Okay na, ready na tayong mag, mag-aura-aura ngayon sa um, land of smiles. <laughs> Kasi super init daw ngayon doon at talagang puro mga sando lang at mga sandals ang dinala ko for tonight's um for today's vacation. So, ayun lang ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ah, uh, nagpapaka ko kanina when we started. Oo. Yung 104 like niyo naman ang vid ni Doc Z. Kaya nga 120,000 viewers tayo ngayon. 11 lang ang nagla-like. Come on. Keep the likes coming. Anyways, um I'm not sure if alam mo yon, parang I think that 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the girls who were selected in the Avon ads, yung, um, there was a separate, right? There was a separate ad campaign where Laguna, Bulacan, Kainta Rizal, Baguio, Quezon Province, and sino pa bang na, na ano? Sa, was it Southern California was also there? Parang six or seven yung girls na napili doon sa separate Avon campaign. And they were surprisingly the, the girls who really stood out. They were the girls who stood out in the in the solo video campaigns. No, though may mga surprises. Then even Zambales also was very beautiful, by the way, in her um solo Avon campaign. Pero parang yung mga na separate na Avon ad campaign girls, yung mga best na nakita ko. Oo. Naka thumbs love na doc. Maraming salamat, Miss Virgilia Nasis from Hong Kong. 2011 pa ako nakapunta sa Thailand. Malamang ang dami na nagbago now. Have fun and enjoy the summer vibe in Thailand. I can't wait today to fly there later. Matutulog na ako ng very, very short. And then, go na tayo sa airport um, after a few hours. And we're gonna enjoy for a while. And, ayun nga, no? So, parang, konti lang yung, ay, yung mga girls na napili, sila-sila lang din yung, for me, yung mga magagaling dun sa ad campaign na yun. So, let's make a poll. Mag-poll tayo, guys. Ha? Let's start a poll. Sino ang Miss Avon para sa inyo? Sino ang uh, face of Miss Avon? Is it Chelsea Manalo? Is it Atisa Manalo? Ito yung mga ano lang ah. Well, seven yung girls na nandun. Stacy Gabriel was also there. Or Tara Valencia. Sino sa tingin ninyo ang... Uh, face of Avon based on the commercial. Answer nyo na ang poll natin. Pasensya na kayo. Apat lang ang choices. Alam nyo naman. Apat lang ang choices dyan. So, wag magagalit kung hindi ko sinama like si Laguna. Pili na kayo kung sino ang face of Avon. Ayan. Tell me your answer and choose who you think was a standout um on the face of Avon. Guys, itong poll na to, ang pinili ko ay yung separate um, commercial ad ng Avon. The seven, was it seven or six girls? Including Tara, ba- uh, Baguio, Quezon Province, Kainta Rizal, Bulacan, Laguna was there also. Ayan. So, boto na kayo. Tell me. Tell me kung sino ang feeling ninyong Miss Avon. Pwede ba silang apat na lang? Actually, alam niyo kung ako mamimili, Chelsea Manalo was was so beautiful. I've been mentioning this to you guys. Now, for me, si Chelsea, parang siya yung brand holder ng um, Maybelline. Ganon. Ganon yung peg sa akin ni, ano, ni, ni Chelsea Manalo. Ganon yung vibe na sa akin. Ayan. So, ayan. Maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga viewers right now. Mag-live po ba kayo, Doc? Kahit nasa bakasyon kayo, hindi po. I'll be resting for a while. Whenever I go abroad, quiet ang aking social media. I don't use my social media talaga. O talagang behave at ano ako. Um, behave ako ngayon at um, talagang ninanamnam ko kapag ako ay nasa abroad. Kawawa fans ni Brooks, wala sa choices. Ha, ha, ha. Um, Aquelly, ang mga pinapili ko ay yung mga girls na... Ano, uh, um, nandun sa separate video ng Avon. Ayan. Do, Doc, thought on Vivi's Avon campaign po. I like it. I like it. I like the, ano, the, the ad campaign of um, VVV. Though I felt like the, the hair was a little off. Parang sana she wore or sported a different kind of hair. But nonetheless, I like the message that she conveyed on that ad campaign. Super, super beautiful. Ace Manalo, watching from San Francisco. Hello, Sir Ace. What time is it there in San Francisco right now? Nako, mukhang love si Chelsea ng mga sponsors possible. Kaya dalawang black makapasok sa top five. Let's see. Let's see. So, walang vlog sa vacation mo with Tita Sam Brew. Um, tingnan natin. Kanina nag-chat si Mama Sam sa akin. I messaged Mama Sam last. Um, this morning, because I was so happy and so elated with the collaboration we had. By the way, thank you so much. I think we've reached 7,000 views on that live and collaboration yesterday. And we have so many positive feedbacks from yesterday's 
live with Mama Sam. At, uh, I was so, so glad and so, so happy that it happened and it came um, and came into reality yesterday. And I was watching it while stuck on traffic and I said, Mama Sam, I'm so sorry. May mga lag episodes na parang natatabunan ko ng konti or hindi ko nasasagot yung mga questions niya kahapon. May mga technical glitch tayo sa internet connection natin. So, I'm so sorry about that. Your best Thai Cindy, can you speak Bisaya? I can only say kasing kasing. Yun lang alam ko, kasing kasing. Ayan. <laughs> Your voice is so savage. Wow, anyan. What do you mean by that? Kung anong klasing description mo by savage? Magwawala na naman ng mga fanini Brooks, dami na naman magbash sa yo Doc Z. Um guys, kay bias na vlogger. Ah, okay po. Um, kaya po ko pinili si na Chelsea, Atisa, Stacy at Tara is because these are the girls that was chosen by Avon. Ang ating pong pinag-uusapan dito ay yung mga girls na pinili on a separate, separate, ano, separate, um, ano to, separate tally by the, a separate ads by Avon. So, wag po nyo ako sisihin. Opo. <laughs> Wag po ako ang sisihin ninyo. Oo, ayan. Even po ang pumili sa kanila. Wala po si Alexi doon sa separate na yon. Kaya po, pasensya na po kayo. Room tour, please. Nako, uh, my unit is a little dirty right now. It's all over the place. So guys, um, piliin nyo na kung sino ang Miss Avon ninyo sa mga girls na to. Sila yung mga napili on a separate view. Pasensya na, hindi... Um, hindi um, hindi kasha ang seven girls that were um, chosen by Avon on that separate video. But like what I've mentioned, si Alexi po na-mention ko po, wag po kayong magalit. Maganda po yung kay Alexi. Sinabi niya doon yung abanse babae niya na kanyang um, advocacy. So napakagaling ni, ni Alexi for, for that part. And then, what else? Um, Atisa was stunning as I've mentioned. UK was beautiful. Kayla Carter was also stunning there. Um, ayun. Yeah, si Alexi kasi was not chosen dun sa separate video, guys. Yung separate video po yung pinag-uusapan natin. Not the solo, ano nila, not the solo videos. Because all of the girls were stunning talaga. Lahat magaganda dun sa mga separate nila. Ito pong poll natin ay yung poll based dun sa tapatan, di ba? Yung sina Stacy, sina Tara, sina Atisa, eh wala po dun si Alexis, so wala po siya sa poll natin. Ayan, sabi ni Pageant Foodie, pinanood ko muna yung video bago ako bumoto. They're all equally gorgeous, pero pinakagusto ko si Stacy. Pag commercial, talaga malakas ang dating ni Stacy. Commercial beauty talaga siya. She actually resembles um, Anne Curtis. Ganun yung dating nitong si, ano, ni Stacy Gabriel. Ayan. Did you watch the drag show? Yeah, I do watch drag show. And I love Marina Summer so much. Hello, Dog Zed watching from Queen City of the South. Hello, hello sa'yo. Um, Sedi Ryan Matuga, isa sa ating mga avid um, subscribers and watchers. Thank you. Look, basic brands pa lang yan. Di na napili si Brooks. What more pa kaya pag bigger brands? Di talaga siya minsan first choice. Hello, Alexi fans. Um, ayun lang. Pero may mga chosen naman siya. I think the Zondrox commercial, um, isa sa mga chosen tong si Alexi Brooks, ba? Diba? Even dun sa Premier Drip, uh, nandun siya. She was chosen there. So, hindi, hindi naman all the time, guys, nandun ang mga bets natin, no? So, yung ating papol po, itong kulon sa mga nasa separate video lang ng mga girls. Um, well, before we proceed to the Aqua Boracay, kasi nga, I'll, just, I'll be doing this live for an hour lang. Kasi I need to rest as well. So, I like the Avon commercial. Um, last year, I, th- I think they had Cream Silk also. But I think also Cream Silk is um, sponsoring this year. So, baka may separate shoot sila for sure. I like what Avon is um, rallying for. I like the message that the girls were conveying. All the messages and statements, very, very strong. It empowers the women of today. And it shows how pageant is relevant in the society. Speak your voice. Speak out loud. Talk your advocacy. Diba? Yun ang gagandang mga pinapakita ng advocacy ng Avon. Hindi lang basta beauty ang pinakita nila doon. Kundi ang kanilang... Um, kundi ang kanilang mga advocacy, kanilang mga purpose and goals in joining the pageants. Ayan. 
hindi naman pwede lagi si Alexi, pero let's, let's not bash her, hinay-hinay lang mga fans. Ayun nga, ang kagaya na naulit ko, sabi ko po, yung nasa poll natin, eh, ito yung mga girls on the separate, okay, on the separate, um, ano to? Separate commercial ad by Avon. At Avon po ang namili dyan, ang nananalo for the poll, 40% at isang manalo, followed by Tara Valencia, 26%. Chelsea Manalo, close on third spot, 23%. And then Stacy Gabriel, 11%. Pero alam nyo, maganda si Stacy doon. Maganda siya doon, guys. Oo. Maganda si Stacy doon. Ayan. Sige. Okay. Huwag naman bash yung iba kay Alex. Kaya nga, love-love lang tayo, guys. 120 viewers natin. Guys, 18 pa lang. 16 pa lang ang likes natin. Grabe naman kayo sa akin. Show your love to Doc Z. Again, I would like to promote... My Facebook fan, fan page, andyan yung link, it's doctor.z. Diyan nyo po unang malalaman ang mga ganaps ko, ang mga first interviews natin, kung sino ang interview natin. At diyan tayo mag-usap kung ano pa yung mga kuro-kuro or comments and suggestions niyo. You can also follow me on my Instagram fan page. Nandyan na din po, doctorz underscore pageant guru. It's on the link provided on this video. And then, I have my personal Instagram. It's doctor.z, but that's my personal life also. And then, please follow Peps TV Official on Facebook and on YouTube. All of my interviews, una pong i-upload ng Peps TV sa kanilang channel. And then, susunod po sa aking YouTube channel. Ayan. And syempre, kanina, I would like to thank, shout out to Sir um, Ryan Chris of Designer Ryan Chris on Instagram for the tuxedo, for that suit that I wore kanina during the interview. Di ba? Meron na tayong ano, sponsored um, stylist, uh, styling team sa ating interview. Kaya maraming maraming salamat. You know, my life changed um, 360 degrees talaga um, when I started vlogging. So I'm really happy about it. Ayan. I like how VVV spoke Tagalog sa Avon. Agree! Agree with you. Hello sa'yo. Tumatak. Tumatak yung sinabi niya sa akin na yun. At ang ganda-ganda. And I like how VVV is attacking this competition. She's, she's telling everyone that she's relatable. And she can learn Tagalog. And that she's a Filipina by heart. Ang ganda. Ang ganda nung pinapakita ni VVV sa competition na to ngayon. Uh, inaral niya kung ano yung mga weakness niya before at yung mga ayaw ng mga tao. And now, She she's doing that and she's owning that moment of hers, no? Lahat halos ng videos niya, she's trying to speak Tagalog and she's trying to showcase um, how Filipina she is. Ayun. Hindi ko po binuksan ng aircon ngayon because puyat ako at gusto ko munang room temperature muna. Ayan. Where can you watch the Avon commercial? It's actually uploaded on the Miss Universe Philippines website and all of the girls were tagged along as collaborator. So you can see it there. And then also on Avon. Avon sa Instagram. You can search it there, guys. Ayan. So we're done with the Avon um, ad campaigns. We're done with the Avon ad campaigns. At yung mga um, bets ninyo, mamaya titignan natin kung sino ang nanalo, ang chosen one ninyo as Miss Avon 2024. Ang mga pinili po natin dyan ay yung nandun sa separate commercial ng Avon. And sadly, there are only four choices here on YouTube. So sila muna ang sinama ko. How excited are you guys for Aqua Boracay? Tell me. Kamusta na kayo dyan? Hindi ba kayo nasisiyahan? At marapit na ang runway show on swimsuit, on bikinis. We're gonna see the girls on fire, Boracay. What a show to see them strutting the runway on a um, summer heat sa one of the best islands in the world. The universe, rather, ang Boracay. Ayan. Super exciting. Sabi ni Sir Passion Cafe, I am so excited. Kaya tayo lilipad sa Boracay. At aalamin natin kung sino talaga ang umariba at aariba at talagang bubuga at bubulusok sa swimsuit show na yan. I'm super excited. Super pumped. Super pumped talaga ako dyan. You mean your life changed 180 degrees because it was 360, you'd be at the same spot. Tama nga naman. Pero... Um, 360 eh. For me, it's 360. Um, yung 0 to 360. Parang ganon. Well, um, it changed. It changed um, in a lot of sense. In a lot of sense. Mag-vlog tayo ako, Boracay Ranking. Very, very soon. Very, very soon yan, Sir Tony Lemon. I can't wait to see the girls. I can't wait talaga. Talagang bakbahan to the max. Um, it's happening very, very soon um, after this week. 
lilipad ang mga girls dyan sa Boracay. Super exciting yan. Kailan po ang Aqua Boracay? I heard it's um, on April 20. Ang show ay April 20. Hindi ko sure kung allowed mag-live. Hindi ko sure kung may magla-live po. Aalamin pa po natin yan. Pero para sa inyo, we're flying to Boracay to get snippets and to see the girls up close and personal all for the love of pageantry you were going to Boracay. How exciting. At makikita po natin si Sir Gaisel Ortega na Cruella of Pageantry. Pinangako niya sa akin na hahanapin niya ako sa Boracay. So we're gonna see each other there. Ayan. Ariba Boracay dapat ang title. Nako, yun ang magiging title ng ating pag-uusap, Sir Tony Lemon. Kung available ka, eh, schedule na po natin yung um, ranking ng mga girls for Aqua Boracay. Doc Z, um, um, pwede... Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Sana yun? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ay, hindi ko na nakita. Pwede ba hulugan ang ticket sa MUPH? Hindi po, sorry. And I heard na talagang ang dami ng mga sold out tickets, especially on VIP, lower box. Ang dami na daw talaga nakuha. So, I hope you guys can avail na and purchase the tickets already. Because, guys, we're less than 40 days before the coronation night. Baguio has a good chance to get back to back and best in swimsuit sa MUPH finals. Sabi ni Hello Sayo. Let's see. Let's see what Tara Valencia has to offer. Kailan po ako Boracay? Nasagot na natin yan. Ariba Boracay ang title. Chelsea is Miss Avon para kay Rob Bell. Magkakaalaman na sa Boracay. Totally agree, pageant foodie. We can't wait. Talagang dyan, no? Sa Hello Glow, kung ang mga girls ay medyo nag-held um, back, nagpahinay-hinay ng konti, dapat sa Boracay. Ariba talaga. Ariba talaga dapat ang mangyayari dyan. Ang right turn po ay Aalagwa, sabi ng ating birthday subscriber Mars Ramoso. Sino ang Aalagwa sa Boracay? Iyan. Diba? Sana naman this time wala nang mag-hold back sa mga girls para kitang-kita talaga sino yung angat. Exactly, Gio de Lasas. Yan ang hinihintay natin talaga kung sino ang bubuga at bubulusok sa entablado. Semifinals open to the public. May tickets ba ulit? Hindi pa natin alam. They haven't released any um, statements about that. Um, that is something na assignment ko para sa inyo alamin natin kung ano ba ang mangyayari sa um, prelims. Is it open to the public? Last two years Two years straight, it happens in Okada. So, tingnan natin if sa Okada pa rin nangyayari. Yung nireklamo nyo na laging madilim sa Okada yun. Yun yung prelim. So, tingnan natin if it's open to the public. Sir Tony, hahanap tayo ng paraan na makakanood tayo dyan for sure. Because you guys are here and we want to deliver fresh news to the public. Yan ang gagawin natin sa preliminaries. Kasi wala si Queen Alexis Sitara na next girl na lang yung vote ko but still good luck to all the girls sorry Chinita ang voting po natin yung pinili ko sa Miss Avon are the girls who were chosen separately on that separate ad commercial wala po si Alexi doon no si Chelsea Manalo po yung nandoon si Tara si Laguna si Stacy at si Atisa and this four girls i think yung mga mas umangat or para mas marami silang camera panning actually yung pinaka marami doon was Atisa followed by Chelsea, and then Stacy. Actually, si, si Tara nga, parang iilan lang din yung mga solo tight shots niya dun eh. Um, Dr. Z, what is your favorite drag show? Sino ba tong si Best I Cindy na to? VIP to the best section. Yes, hahanap na. Yes, nasa VIP 2 po kami. Nila ano, nila, nila Mama Bex at ni Sir Tony Lemon. Ayan. Alisin na nga natin itong si, ano, may nang Google sa atin. Yan, okay. Um, treat kita sa Okada, Jollibee. Of course! <laughs> we love that. We love that. Dr. Z, Jollibee or McDonald's. Mm. Ayan, sige. Okay. So, of course, we're very excited for the upcoming um, Aqua Boracay. Last year, um, last year, si Pauline um, Amelinx, umariba na talaga dun sa Aqua Boracay. Doon natin nakita yung how she lost so much weight. Um, Siyempre, ang mga pasarela queens that time were Krishna Gravides, grabe din doon, at bakbakan sila, neck on neck sila ni CJ Opiasa talaga sa pasarela noong time na yon Yan ang hindi natin mga makakalimutang mga performances ng mga girls sa Aqua Boracay. And this time around, we're very excited. Of course, during the time of Celeste Cortez, umariba na talaga si Celeste noong time na yan. 
Ayan. Okay. Um, let's check the poll. Kung sino ang inyong Miss Avon 2024. Atisa Manalo leading by 44%. Followed by Chelsea Manalo. Uy, na-overtake niya na si Tara at 25%. Tara Valencia at third spot with 21%. And then 10% of fourth spot natin si Stacy Gabriel. Yung magkamukha nasa dulo. Ha? Ayan. CJ and Krishna ang kakaloka. Totoo talagang grabe yung kay CJ. Di ba yung winawas-iwas niya talaga yung sarong niyang gano'n, no? Pagtanggal ng sarong, tapos pagdating sa stage, iniikot-ikot yung sarong. Only CJ Opiaza can do that. And very soon, before the month ends, nag-usap kami ni Ms. CJ Opiaza. We're guesting her on our segment for the interview part. Ayan, kaya we're so, so excited to to have um, Ms. CJ Opiaza. Miss Universe Philippines, 2023 first Runner up. At syempre, sabi ko kay CJ, we're still praying that you will, you can represent the Philippines in the international stage. Kasi ang galing-galing talaga ni CJ. And imagine she's training so many girls who are um, vying for that crown this year, no? And iba pa, even si Miss Supranational, tinitrain din niya for pasarela. Magaling talaga. Magaling talaga tong si ano, si... Si CJ Opiasa. Ayan. So far, parang pinaka-favorite ng sponsor si Atisa. She's the most popular, pero marami pang Josa. Kung gusto nyo magstay sa top, dapat huwag siyang mag-hold back at ibigay na niya. Ayan. I'm not sure if that's part of her strategy, but so far, laging nandun si Atisa kahit hindi full 100% yung ginagawa niya. And it's quite working on her, on her advantage. I don't know why, but She's doing so well in the competition even if hindi niya binubuga ng todo ang kanyang ano, um, 100% or all-out performance. Tayo ay mag-ala Aqua Boracay kung ready na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo guys for Aqua Boracay? We're so excited to fly to Boracay at ipakita ang mga abs sa Boracay gaya ng ating thumbnail. <laughs> But nonetheless, um, we'll be there to support the girls and I want to see them up close and personal talaga. Kaya... Super, super excited to fly to Boracay para malaman ko sino ang ating um, Miss Aqua Boracay this year. Ayan. Ace Manalo says, Every candidate is equally beautiful, but there's a certain beauty standard na hinahanap ang sponsor. So chill lang, mga fans. If your candidates didn't make to be part of Avon, nothing to... Whatever. Ayan. Hello, good evening, Doc Z. Done voting my sentimental fave, Stacy. She's glowing and slaying the Avon commercial. I have to agree with you, JR Paolo. Ang ganda ganda ni Stacy. And sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, the voiceover na nag-voiceover sa Avon commercial na yun, na separate, was Stacy Gabriel. Look at her talent, di ba? Super, super uh, galing nitong si Stacy talaga. Hi, Mr. Sackman. Good evening. Good morning here in the Philippines. Vic Kapalihan says... Um, kailan ang Aqua Boracay show? It's on April 20, but the girls will be flying on April 19. CJ versus Gabby for Miss Grand Philippines. I've been seeing um, uh, posts of Gabby Basiano. Hindi ko pa na-check if talagang siya ay sasali. But people have been saying something's grand. Yun yung sinasabi niya eh, no? Something's grand is happening. So maybe she's joining. Ayan. Song number naman dyan, Doc said, hindi ako magsusong number kasi 23 likes lang tayo at talagang nag-live ako para sa inyo. Pero ang konti ng likes, bakit ganun? This is my last vlog before I fly to Thailand for a mini vacation. Kasi mahal ko kayong lahat, kaya pag-uusapan natin ang kaka-release lang na A1 na pag-uusapan natin kanina yan kung sino yung mga nag-stand out. And I told you guys that there were so many girls who gave a lot of beautiful shots to us, impressive, impressive um, poses, and the statements were really, really strong na kinonvey ng mga girls. Pasensya ka na, Lee Jaiho, hindi tayo magsusong number ngayon kasi... Um, konti ang nag-thumbs up dito sa video natin ngayon. Kaya walang kantang mangyayari. <laughs> Gio Delaza says, ang mag-tiktok ka dog Z, tinitignan, tinitignan ko. Nako, nako, um, that's a personal tiktok. <laughs> But it's Dr. Z on tiktok. Pero wala po akong mga ano dyan. Wala po akong mga pageantry stuff dyan. Gagawa pa lang kami ng tiktok ko ng aking social media handler very, very soon. Hi, Simena Cartagena. Hola, where are you from? Thank you for tuning in. 
Ayan. So in case you missed it, I've already interviewed Miss Mandawa City, si Victoria. Was very, very well spoken, super talented. If you've seen my Instagram account and sa aking IG fan page, pinakanta ko si Victoria. Gamit yung karaoke ko, ginamit ko yun at pinakanta ko siya. Ayan. And then we started interviewing Mr. Gay World Philippines candidates. Um, we started with Bench Ortiz and R- Lord Ramos. Marami pa tayong interviewin. And then sa Binibining Pilipinas, uh, magpapaalam pa po tayo sa org. We are supposed to interview Cheryl Veles tonight, kanina, pero marami pa pong proseso sa Binibining Pilipinas. So we have to um, go through the process para hindi natin ma-bypass yung org. Ayan. CJ, dapat ang Miss Grand. Redirect natin si Gabby Basiano to, to another pageant. Tignan natin Sir Tony Lemon kung saan sila pupunta. Pero agree with you, CJ can really ace that katok. At talagang pag nakita to ni Uncle, talagang nako. Kumanta ka ba sa intro ng live, Doc? Hehehe. <laughs> Vic Kapalihan is asking. Hindi po, baka makopyright po tayo. Pero kumanta ko ng happy birthday sa isa sa ating mga um, pageant subscribers. Ayan, um, 125,000 viewers but we only have 27 likes, guys. Like nyo na yan. May chinita, nakakatuwa naman yung si Ms. Veles. Oo nga, natuwa yung Peps TV family ko kanina at talagang we wanted to um, get to know her up close and personal at talagang gustong-gusto namin ang kanyang, you know, the vibe that she's giving in the pad, in the competition and how she's handling all the bashings. Ayan. I've watched her vlog interview with Miss QC Lorraine Ojimba. Sobrang sad lang na nag-back out siya. May potential po sana siya. Agree, JR Paolo. Super nakakasad yan. Sabi ni Pajan Foodie, pwede talaga si CJ sa Grand, her Morena Filipina Beauty. Uh, strong pasarela pa lang, malakas na ang laban. Super agree with you. And we can't wait for CJ to find the right timing to join again. But we know that she is she has a lot of potential to represent the Philippines internationally. Ayan. Ang mga na-interview na natin na out um, on my channel and also on Peps TV official, um, Lorraine Ojimba still, it's still there. We have interviewed Dara Valencia and Ms. Bantayan, si Dr. Jovel um, Dukay. Ayan ang mga na-interview na natin. And to, um, soon to release ang kay Ms. Mandawe and then ang mga Mr. Gay World Philippines natin. Very, very soon din. Manny Whitey, even at Isa did not perform well, um, lagit, lagit talaga siya kasama sa top five na di po siya nawawala. Need na lang niya talaga i-maintain. Pero kung may ibang candidate na mag-perform sa kanya during finals, the crown may snatch from her. Agree with you guys, hindi tumatahimik ang ilan sa mga top five na consistent. And, mind you, Pampanga has started to climb up the top five spots in a lot of pageant vloggers, including Miss Sosology, nandun na siya. I think she ended top three. Second si Atisa, na number one si Baguio. VVV on fourth, and then um, Cebu on fifth spot. Kaya mahigpit talaga, sabi nga nila RJ at ni Mama Sam, masikip talaga ang top five. Ayun. When po ang Aqua Buraki, nasabi na natin yan, April 20. Doc Z, when ka mag-Singapore para makapagpituran sa'yo? Naku, um, I just went, ah, I might go to Singapore, sorry. I just My last Singapore was November 2022. But I might go there this May for my brother's ano, grad gift, gradu- graduation gift namin sa kanya before he enters college. So ma- I might go there, might go there by second week of May. Tingnan po natin. Because I have family in, in Singapore. I have family relatives there. I'll let you know very soon, Lee Jaiho. At isa is Manika. Pasok sa top five yan palagi. Super. Talagang ano, manika talaga. Tapos si, si Cebu at si Baguio ay mga Barbie dolls. Alexis is also a Barbie doll. Ang dami namin nila mga Barbie doll dyan. Gaganda nila. Dr. said um, pag di po block ni Tara sa MEPH, ano pong pageant siya pwede? May nagsasabi na pwede siya sa grand. Ano po opinion nyo? Um, we're not thinking about that right now. We're aiming for the universe crown. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. <laughs> Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Ayan. Aling Vicky, hindi ko alam yung issue na yan. Pasensya ka na, hindi ko yun masasagot sa iyo. Ayan. So I'm packing right now for um, my trip to um, Thailand. Kaya ako naka-shades because I'm preparing. I'll be flying in a few hours. I'll just sleep in a bit and then 
ako po ay mawawala ng ilang araw, I think five days, but the, the rest of the interviews will be um, released, hopefully, um, within the next few days, and I hope that you guys could enjoy that. And ako muna ay mag-enjoy at mag-relax because I just finished my residency. Finally, I'm off to something greater. And then um, tayo ay babalik stronger. We're gonna cover Aqua Burakai really, really soon. Ayan. Thank you so much, Norski. Don Thumbs Up Dog Z watching from Hong Kong. Have a safe travel later. Enjoy your vacation. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. At talagang rest muna ako. Even social media break muna tayo dyan kasi nga talagang um, nakakapagod din at times. We need a little ano, refreshment and think, time to ponder. Ayan. Just send Boodle to MGI, sabi ni Lee Jai. Regards to Mama Sam, if makita kayo, we will say that. Hopefully, timalay nyo, magulat na lang kayo, mag-live kami. Nasabi ni Mama Sam, since I'm staying alone in my hotel, sabi ni Mama Sam, mag-live tayo. Let's see, let's see. Padala natin ang um, ang kanyang tripod stand kay Mama Sam. Tingnan po natin. Hopefully, we can meet there because super intense ang crowd ngayon sa Thailand because of Songkran. Yes, yeah, Songkran sa, sa Bangkok. Starting today, Saturday, no? Today and tomorrow ang Songkran. 13 and 14. So, malalaan talaga yan. Yes, we will tell Mama Sam. Maraming maraming salamat. Ang gaganda ng mga feedbacks niyo about me and Mama Sam's collaboration. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy your vacation, Doc. Inaabangan ka namin sa pagbalik mo. Of course, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. Oo. Oo, magkikita kami ni Mama Sam. And then, ako, Bulakay naman kami ni Jaisel very, very soon. Yeah, so much um things in store that is happening this April. And we can't wait to see the girls on Aqua Boracay. Kung sino ang aariba. Yung mga Hello Glow finalists ba? Sina Alexi, sina Atisa, sina Tara, si Cyril, at si VVV. Sila ba ang aalagwa at aariba at aarangkada sa Aqua Boracay? Yan ang malalaman natin. Kasi this time around, we're expecting the girls to give it all out. No? Give na give talaga sila. Under the heat of summer sa Boracay, one of the best beaches in the world. Ayan. We're so excited for that. What if manggulat si Kayla sa prelims and finals? Um, we're hoping that she could do that. You know, she's been part of her top five before. She just slowly went down um, little by little nung nakita natin yung mga weak pasarela ni Kayla. But let's see, no? Let's see. We want a girl who can wow us and surprise us come prelims and finals. So we're hoping for that aspect. For not only for Kayla, but to other girls as well. Alam ko may bubulaga talag dyan, no? Si Palawan, pwede. Anita Rose Gomez, Zambales, Laguna. Ang daming mga umaalagwa. Even Pampanga now is climbing the top after that hello glow. Ay talagang sunod-sunod na talaga. Mm-mm. Doc Z, almost all the vloggers na collab mo na only in Doc Z's channel. Next. Of course, love, love kasi tayo sa lahat. We want, we want to build um, connections and bridges to everyone. We don't want bad blood. We just, we, we share the same passion in pageantry and this is something I love to do kahit na pagod na and all. We're gonna continue doing that. So, and, and, and collaboration with everyone just goes to show how how much we love each other for the love of pageantry. Ayan. Vika Palihan, regards kay Gaysal Doc sa Aqua Boracay. Galingan nyo, Doc, ang coverage. Asahan namin yan. Of course, we will be doing that. I think I can go live naman before Aqua Boracay. Um, hopefully, April 17, bumalik na tayo for a, a live um live chat muna, and then we will be flying in Boracay on April 19. Oh, oh, ayan. I'm also fixing my clinic schedules and all that because it's a very busy April, and then May is my birth month, so maraming ganap. Maraming ganap talaga. Hi, Rana Al. Good evening to you. Ayan. So, again, we've discussed about um, Avon kanina and the girls. Um, Almost all the girls were really a standout kanina. Super, super stunning. Angel Rose Camp was so beautiful. Leite. Um, ang ganda-ganda nila. Diamate. Vite was so pretty. Um, of course, Cebu, Atisa, Alexi, Chelsea, Tagig, um, Baguio. Ang daming magaganda si Avon Commercial. At yung pinag-uusapan natin nga kanina, eh yung mga nalagay ko sa poll na ito, eh, ito yung mga girls po na napili ng Avon on a separate um, commercial or a separate ad if you've seen it. Ito yung mas naunang na-release actually. Oo. Kaya, 
Bago tayo matapos, basahin na natin kung sino po ang Miss Avon 2024 ninyo. Ito na ang ating Miss Avon. We're gonna announce before we end this live. Um, we have Atisa Manalo as your Miss Avon 2024 with 47%. Chelsea Manalo on second spot by 23%. She's so stunning there also. Followed by Tara Valencia, third spot at 18%. And Stacy Gabriel with 12%. Actually, ang hirap mamili sa kanila. Even Stacy was so stunning for, for me on that ad campaign. And she did the voiceover, by the way. What a talent she has. Ayan. Did you feel any uncertainty in continuing the passion from Miss Lorraine when you interviewed her? Hindi talaga. Kasi ang galing-galing ni Lorraine nung interview na yan. Oo. Casa Del Rey, feel ko payat talaga ang belt ni North Cal- California kasi nga, di ba, binubuli siya because payatot siya. I think she has a medical um, condition also, no? And maybe part of her strategy din. Mali talaga yung body frame nitong si ano, ni, um, ni Kayla Carter. Ayan. Aquelli Creams, like winners for sure, Atisa and Jansson and Tara. Where are you from? Chelsea Manalo, Anita Gomez, Cyril Payuma and Alexandra Salas is Sa kanila ang sisira ng listahan sa top 5, sabi ni Miss Batis. Yes, we're seeing this girls talaga. Great idea, mag-live ka ni Mama Sam, please. Let's see, gulatin namin kayo guys if we find time there. Um, ayusin ko palang aking itinerary tonight. <laughs> Lalo sobrang busy ko, so ayusin natin yan. And I'm checking the crowd if capable to go out of the city eh. Titingnan natin yan later on my first day. Aalis tayo mamaya. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga YouTube um, subscribers. This is, a, this is a chill chat before I go on a brief vacation. Hopefully, the interviews with Miss Mandawa and some of the Mr. Gay World Philippines will be out very, very soon. Guys, supportahan din natin ang mga Mr. Gay World Philippines natin. Ang gaganda ng mga advocacy that they're promoting um, para sa nalalapit na Mr. Gay World pageant. The Mr. Gay World um, uh, competition is happening in UK. Also in July ata. Very, very soon yan. Oh. And then I will be a correspondent for Mr. I sorry, Man of the World. Ayan, ako yung magiging backstage correspondent. Man of the World International, guys, ha? Ganun na tayong leveling. Oo, oh, tayo ay magiging backstage correspondent ng Man of the World. So, very, very excited for that aspect of the, ano, sa ating career as a host. Oo. Oh. Of course, we would like to thank um, Peps TV family. Guys, please like their YouTube channel. Uh, we had the, the interview kanina sa Moff Coffee in San Juan City. Maraming salamat. Carl Morris Galang, see you in Thailand. Kanina magkasama lang kami during the interview. My director and good friend, Mikey Esplago. V. Valero, photographer. Find them on Instagram if you need a graphic artist, director, um, editorial shots. Yan ang mga best people to, to find. Um, my Peps TV family, Moff Coffee family, Sir Ryan Chris for my um, suit. Ayan, meron na tayong styling team. Maraming maraming salamat. Designer Ryan Chris po yan sa mga set of tuxedos that you need on Instagram. Hanapin nyo si Designer Ryan Chris. My social media handler, thank you Jason Orsolino. Follow PH Contesera on um, Instagram. Also my um, Instagram fan page, it's Dr. Z underscore pageant guru, and my Facebook page, Dr. Z. And my personal um, IG is Dr. Z. Ayan. May manggugulat po talaga. Meron talaga pong manggugulat dyan sa finals night na yan. We're gonna end the poll already. I will see you very, very soon. I will see you very, very soon, guys. Um, Hopefully, we can go back on April 17. Mag-vacation lang po tayo at mag mierda ng very, very light. We're gonna uh, feel the heat in the land of smiles. And we'll, it's my first time to try Songkran, but not my first time to go to, to Thailand naman. Ayan. And then, um, Aqueli, i-message mo ko sa Instagram. <laughs> and then, um, we're going to Aqua Burakay for um, the Aqua Buraki Runway Challenge. Yan po makikita natin ng mga girls sa kanilang swimsuits and their pasarelas. I hope you guys have a great weekend with your loved ones and family. Please do like this video for the love of Dr. Z. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed in yet, click the bell button to get notified if we have lives like this. 
na bigla na lang po ako nagla-live at nag, um, nanggugulat sa inyo. Ako po ay aalis muna at magbabakasyon. Maraming salamat sa pagmamahal at suporta. This has been your pageant guru, Dr. Zed. Say good night and God bless us all. Bye guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Ingat kayong lahat. Bye.